Welcome to the demonstration of the Fundamentals of Engineering Review and Refresher course for Mechanical Engineering by PPI. Now this course is similar to what you might find at your local university that you go to for 10 weeks on Saturdays for all day. Except there's three reasons why this one is better. Reason number one and probably most important is we researched this course heavily to try to match our topics which what, with what is tested on on the FE exam. We give examples of questions that are typical of the kind of questions that are on the FE exam. In fact, we don't try to teach you mechanical engineering. We're going to simply try to get you to pass the fundamentals of engineering exam. And there's a big difference. Number two, you don't have to drive. We're on your computer. At home or at work or wherever you are. Number three, you're going to be never late for this class because you can pull us up anytime that you want. You don't have to drag yourself out of bed at 6.30 in the morning and drive for an hour to get to an 8 o'clock class. We're there if you can't sleep and you get up in the middle of the night you can take our course. We're there after the kids go to bed. We're there only if you can take half of our course and you can save the second half for later. We're there even if you want to see the course again because you can click on us anytime you want. Now, the course consists of 10 sessions of presentations like you're hearing right now and problems for you to solve with solutions when you get done. These are the sections that we cover. These are the topics that we cover. These are the suggested topics by the NICES format, the FE exam format. The other really good thing about this course is that we constantly try to tie you back to the supplied reference handbook. Because even though we don't think this handbook is very good for you, that is, it doesn't have all the information that you need, it has way too much information that you'll ever use, this is your only source of help. And therefore, we will show you where in this book is the important parts and where isn't. And we'll cut this book down to 10% of its size. There's just a lot of useless information in this book. Well, all right, let's just take a little bit of a look at what kind of things we do. The first session is called math, and you think, gee, high school math, I know that well. Are you sure? How about conic sections? How about infinite series? There's a lot of things that you probably could use a little refresher on. Then we'll talk about calculus. And of course, you know calculus is going to be on there. We're not going to try to teach you calculus. We're going to try to show you how to use the supplied reference handbook to get your answers. In economics, economics to a lot of people is like a foreign language. Wait a minute. There is a foreign language on that screen. Well, we don't teach with that foreign language. We like to call it the power of the parenthesis. And when you see the power of the parenthesis, you will actually start to like economics problems and certainly be able to handle them for the exam. Electricity. Well, we're going to be pretty basic in trying to resolve circuits, but then we're going to get into a little bit of instrumentation that is coordinating your thoughts with what the book has available for you in electricity, and we're going to talk about controls also. Now, in statics and dynamics, we're going to go through all of the typical material, including in dynamics, the spring vibration and frequency and rotation, all of the topics necessary for the FE exam. 
in the mechanics presentation, we'll talk about beams, deflection, but we'll mostly talk about shear diagrams which are tested on on the exam and moment diagrams and how to create shear diagrams and how to create moment diagrams from the shear diagrams plus a lot more. Fluid mechanics. Well, we'll be dealing with the continuity equation in fluid mechanics. We'll be dealing with Bernoulli's equation. We'll talk about friction. We'll do all the things that are necessary for the FE exam. Thermodynamics. Now we hope that you've had a course in thermodynamics because there's a lot of thermodynamics on the test. And so we're going to actually have two sessions on thermodynamics. The first one is for processes. The thermodynamics of processes. And we'll try to make things easy for you. Notice that we always are solving problems in this course. We are not talking theory, but we only speak enough theory in order for you to be able to solve problems, and we'll be doing a lot of examples on the slides. Now the second thermodynamic session is going to be dealing primarily with cycles. And we'll be looking at the auto cycle, and we'll be coordinating with the supplied reference material to to show you where your help is on the steam cycle, the Rankine cycle, and on the refrigeration cycle, and Carnot. And finally, in mechanical design, we found a chapter in the nicest reference handbook that is kind of hidden. And when you find this chapter, you will realize that it's chock full of information about springs and tolerance and fits and gears and fatigue and failure theory. And we're going to go through that kind of information so that you can pick off problems straight out of that chapter. This has been a demo of the FE course for mechanical engineering. It's the best study that you can do for the FE exam. And I hope that I see you in 